Council Toronto chapter for organizing the various events that recognize and contribute to Asian and South Asian uh, Heritage Month. It's really fantastic what you're engaged in. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk very briefly about our office and the enormous challenges that I think we all face in this city and uh, nationally of keeping very powerful governments accountable to our people. The challenge of integrating diversity into our public institutions and the challenge of ensuring that equity is offered in the services provided by those public institutions. These are challenges that we must meet collectively if we are in fact to protect and improve the quality of our democracy and our values that we so cherish as Canadians. Governments shape laws. They're very much in our lives. The City of Toronto is no different. And it's one thing, you know, to advance uh, and protect our own human rights. It's quite another to create a culture where everyone's rights are protected and advanced. As ombudsman, we see the impact of government on ordinary people every day. We see where institutions, policies, procedures, and processes that worked a hundred years ago that are still operating are irrelevant and sometimes harmful to the people that now make up this city. So my job as ombudsman is to provide you with the space to tell your stories, to make room for those who have not been at the table. Municipal government, as we know, has a responsibility to provide services that are accessible, fair, and equitable to everyone that lives in this city. My office's role in that equation is to provide a check and balance to even the playing field between the powerful government and the individual resident or citizen. The Ombudsman concept involves the public on the one hand and the public service on the other. We're squarely in the middle with no vested interest in the outcome of a complaint other than the group, the citizen, the individual was treated fairly by the City of Toronto. We're here as a lost resort after citizens have tried everything else to resolve their complaint. We can then step in and look at how the person has been treated and whether City Hall has done so equitably and whether there may or may not be systemic barriers. So our job is really to help Torontonians in their right to be treated fairly, without bias, without discrimination. Thank you very much for listening to my words. Congratulations.